Yo, what is going on guys? It is Bronze here, and I'm here to tell you that maybe Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl won't be as easy as you guys are expecting it to be. Yes, one thing that does suck is we are getting the experience share that shares experience with the entire team, instead of back in, let's say, Diamond and Pearl where it was a held item. But we've had this problem for the past three generations, so... There's definitely definitely ways to get around it, and I'm going to give you guys a few examples on how to make Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl just a little bit harder to compensate for that experience share. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is something that a lot of people might not want to do, because and that's understandable, but that is actually to um, swap out Pokemon. So, say you have a lot of Pokemon in your team, and then they're starting to get a little overleveled, you swap them out in the PC with some other Pokemon, some new Pokemon. That way your team is not going to always be overleveled, you know? But that's the one where I feel like most people won't want to do that just because the fact that you might want to play with a set team in your mind. You're playing through a new game, might want to play through with like your starter, Lux Array, you know, like a whole team, and you want to keep that team, so that's understandable. That's why we have our second choice, which, honestly, I've been doing this since I first started playing Pokemon, and even with the games with the experience share, this works so well. Just skip trainers, dude. It's People complain about the EXP share, I understand that, but it's not going to make the game easier, just skip trainers. Like, there's no need for that. You're still going to have enough money with the mandatory trainers that you have to fight. And gyms and stuff. But if you just skip all the unnecessary trainers, you'll be under-leveled. Trust me, I've been doing this ever since I started playing Pokemon. I'm always under-leveled, even in the games where it's a mandatory experience share. Guys, just skip trainers and you'll be fine. Literally not a big deal. You'll still have enough money off, money off of mandatory fights, and I don't know why people don't think about this instead of they just complain. Which, yeah, it does suck, but there's ways to get around the EXP share. And yeah. So that's literally just what I want to tell you guys. Just skip trainers, and you'll be fine. Trust me, I've been doing it for a long time. 